G'day guys, Samson here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an insane $900 Harley Davidson clothing haul which I recently purchased. Bye. 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 Okay guys, so next to me I have some of my favourite items from this haul and during the course of this video I'm going to have footage in the background playing of me going through all of the clothing items that I did buy because there's so many of them. There's actually 94 items of clothing in total and 95% of those 94 items are Harley Davidson. So there is a few other items in there like some dragon jeans that I got as part of this haul but for the most part this was one big buy of a person's collection of Harley Davidson clothing. So I'm going to have that footage going in the background and then at the end of the video I'm going to be showing with you these 10 items because these are 10 of my favourites so I figured I would show you them a bit more in depth so you can get a better look. Now, some of this stuff I've already posted up on my Instagram, make sure to go follow me on that, at the Samson TV, and you would have already seen, if you follow me there, a few of these items posted up, but for the most part, I haven't shown any of this stuff off yet. So, as I said before, there were 94 total items in this haul, and I bought all of these off one seller on Facebook Marketplace. Now, I'm going to put up on the screen the actual listing that I saw in Facebook Marketplace. When I saw it first, it had been up for about an hour, and I'm going to show you my messages with this person and how this deal set up because if you're seeing this listing right here it doesn't look like the person who I'm going to go and buy from actually has a massive collection of Harley Davidson stuff but it's about taking these opportunities when you're an eBay reseller like me you've got to follow these leads up and it's not always going to work out of course but in this case this person had a massive amount of stuff that she wanted to sell and of course Harley Davidson is a great brand so I was happy to pick all of it up so just going along with my message with this person. I agreed to meet them at 6.30 in the evening. Um, they offered whether I could come in the evening of the night that I found the deal or I could come in the next day and have a look at the stuff. But guys, it was only around 15 minutes from my house. So I needed to make sure that I got the best opportunity to buy this stuff before anyone else could have came. Upon arriving to the person's house, she told me that there were a few other people interested and I kind of take that with a grain of salt because sellers often say that stuff to apply a bit of pressure to you as the buyer. But all the same, I definitely wanted to secure the deal when she opened up this walk-in wardrobe full of this Harley Davidson stuff. I had to control myself, you know, it's not good when you're in these situations to look like you've just seen something insane that you just have to buy because obviously that's going to lessen your negotiating power so I kind of you know reacted pretty low-key and I just looked through I asked her how many items there were in total and she didn't really know and she was one of those sellers that she really didn't want to be the one who was putting in the initial price for the items she really wanted me to make an offer and obviously I prefer when the seller actually has a price for their items but it's not going to deter me from you know putting in an offer so I'm looking through this walk-in wardrobe and I see one of the shirts which I will show you from this rack and basically at that point I knew that I really had to secure this deal and pay whatever this person was asking obviously within reason now in hindsight I probably could have negotiated a bit harder but I was in that position where I just had to make an offer and buyers sometimes will put you in that position they really often do not want to price their items themselves because they don't want to undervalue it I can understand fair enough so I said for everything that's in this walk-in wardrobe that I was looking for which was around 50 shirts I said I'm happy to offer $500 and she accepted that price now again in hindsight maybe I could have offered 400 or 300 or maybe even $250 and she might have accepted but just from the signals that she was sending me it seemed to me that she really knew the value of these products she was explaining how she bought these products over many years all from the one Harley Davidson store and that she basically knew that the products that she was selling were worth a lot of money and I didn't want to insult her and break down the negotiation I didn't want to give any other potential buyers the chance to buy these products and I knew from what I'd seen that even offering $500 just from what I'd seen um, without even looking anything up I knew I could double my money on what was in the room alone so she accepted the offer of $500 and I probably could have got it for less but you live and learn and I'm obviously not going to go back on an offer once I give my word I was prepared to pay that amount so that's how it went and she said she also had a bunch of women's Harley Davidson stuff 
which I had a look at as well, and I ended up buying all of it. So she had another two closets full of women's Harley Davidson stuff in mostly a women's size small, and I paid $350 for that stuff. So $500 for all of the men's stuff, and then $350 for the women's. There was also some men's long sleeves mixed in with the women's stuff, and I got all of that for $350 in total. And then there were two pairs of Dragon jeans, which I paid $50 for the pair of them. So two pairs of jeans for $50, and Dragon jeans are definitely very valuable. Um, they sell for around $250 to $300 new, and I should be able to flip these pairs of Dragon jeans on eBay for at least $100 a pair. So they were good pickups as well. But basically 95% of what I bought was Harley Davidson clothing. So just some advice on setting up deals for yourselves if you are resellers or people who look to buy things from Facebook Marketplace. One, don't be afraid to follow leads like this. I could have thought, well, it's not really worth it. I don't know what she has. I don't really want to spend my Saturday evening, you know, looking at some lady's collection of clothing. Who knows what she has? It might all be fake. I could have had that attitude and I would have never found this stuff and I would have never bought anything on that particular day. You've just got to play the numbers and sometimes Sometimes it won't work out, but quite often you'll be able to find really good deals by following these leads. As I said before, and as you saw in the listing, it was really not a listing that would make you think that this lady had what she actually had. But honestly, that worked in my favor because I bet if she listed everything she had up on Facebook Marketplace, someone probably would have seen it before me and gone and bought it all. So you really do have to follow up all these leads, even if they don't look incredibly promising to start with, it's worth sending a message and seeing what the person actually has. Second of all, make sure you have the cash with you. Now, I obviously didn't carry $900 in with me when I went to this deal, but I knew that I could get it from an ATM, which was, you know, really nearby to me and if you don't have the cash and you have to you know arm and arm about it and wait a few days the chances are that a seller like this this lady happened to be moving house so she wanted the stuff gone and i bet that she wouldn't have accepted my offer if i didn't have the cash ready i said i can go and get it i can have it in 20 minutes that's what i did and i paid for it around 20 minutes after we agreed on the deal so definitely make sure to have the cash ready or at least an atm nearby for when you are making these kind of deals. It's gonna improve your negotiating position a lot with these sellers who want to make a quick sale. The last tip I have is something that a lot of resellers, myself included, reiterate constantly, and that is always ask sellers if they have more stuff. This was just one of these situations where I went in there and I agreed to a price on one lot of items and then she just kept bringing more and more stuff out. Um, I wouldn't have even known about the women's clothing and I didn't know going there that she had women's clothing available. Obviously, it still sells for really good money on eBay and I wouldn't have even known about it if I didn't ask her if she had more Harley Davidson stuff. Now, she actually did have some other Harley Davidson stuff that I didn't buy there. It was like the levers for when you're riding the actual bikes. I wasn't so much interested in that because she wanted hundreds of dollars for each of the different like jackets and pants. And that's probably what the items are worth, but it didn't really leave a lot of margin for me to be able to resell them on eBay. So I had to pass on that stuff, but pretty much I bought everything else that she bought out. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you these 10 items. These are some of my favorites from this haul. And I'm gonna start off with this shirt. This is probably the most valuable item from the entire haul. This is a 1995 single stitch Harley Davidson Thunder and Lightning tee. Now this particular shirt is full all over print. It says it's from Sioux Falls, which I don't really know where that is, but I know it's in the United States. And actually sold listings on eBay from very recently are showing this thing to be worth around 300 to 350 Australian dollars. Now you might think that that's a ridiculous price for this t-shirt, but um, I'm gonna have the sold listing, the most recent sold listing up on the screen for you guys of the exact same shirt, um, selling for 310 Australian dollars, I believe, plus $40 shipping. Next, I wanted to show you one of the really interesting women's items that I got. I've never seen this from Harley Davidson. This is a women's size small, this shirt, which kind of like got the uh, fake diamonds on it or whatever, as you can see there. Um, I don't know exactly what how to describe it, but it just is something that struck me as really unusual for Harley Davidson. And as you've probably seen in the footage in the background, there were some really unusual pieces of clothing within this haul. And I reckon something like this probably is worth around 50 Australian dollars, just because 
because it's not something that's that easy to acquire. I feel like they don't really make that much stuff like this. I could be wrong, but it's definitely a cool piece and I'm sure it will have a resale value on eBay. This is another really cool shirt just because it's got a strictly Australian graphic here. It says land of the Southern Cross, which is obviously refer referencing Australia. And it says Mackay Harley Davidson on the back. A lot of the shirts actually do say Mackay Harley Davidson, which is I believe where a lot of the stuff was purchased from. And it's just really cool to me because this is a very Australian Australian um, Harley Davidson t-shirt. This particular shirt is dated 2008, so not exactly vintage, but still just definitely really cool, and I thought I would highlight that as well. Next, I wanted to show you one of the long sleeves. I've got a ton of these in this haul, probably around five or six of them, and honestly, I think these will have some really good value on eBay. I feel like these are definitely in style, got that big embroidery on the back. I honestly should have no trouble getting $60 to $80 plus for these individually on eBay. I might have to be careful careful to not list them all at once because I don't want to saturate the eBay market but I will just have to see on that and I should have no trouble getting some good money for these Harley Davidson long sleeves. This is another long sleeve. This has the big 105 um, anniversary edition embroidery on the back and on the front again it has Harley Davidson going down the sleeves and also embroidered on the front. Next I wanted to show you one of the long sleeves. Just look at the embroidery on that. Like it's massive and it's really bold. I really think there'll be some great resale value in these items. And if you see an item that you like and you want to purchase from me, um, send me a DM on Instagram. As I probably said at the start of the video, at the Samson TV is my Instagram. So send me a DM and we'll be able to work out a price that will be cheaper than eBay because obviously I won't have to pay eBay fees. If you're interested, send me a DM and we can probably work something out. This is another long sleeve and this one again has that really big embroidery on the back. Now, something I would point out as well is this actually has their individual um, motorcycle. I'd forget what they, the lady said that this was called, but basically she got a specific patch made of her motorcycle put on at the Harley Davidson store. Now, I'm not sure if that adds or subtracts value in terms of the shirts that have this on there, but in my opinion, it can't really subtract the value that much because if you have this bike as well, it's probably going to make this shirt even more valuable to you. So yeah, that's really cool as well. The last one of the button ups I wanted to show you, in my opinion, has the best embroidery on it. Just look at that logo. This is all embroidered. None of this is screen, screen printed on and it is double sided as well with the Harley logo there. Um, yeah, this is a really cool one in my opinion in that yellow and black. Honestly, just looking through some of these shirts is making me want to keep some of them because I do wear a men's size large to extra large and these are actually all men's size large and because they're a bit older, they fit really loose so I probably would be able to fit most of these. So it's kind of making me think, should I keep some of them? But at the same time, I've got to recoup this $900 that I spent and then hopefully I'll make some profit as well. This is another graphic that I wanted to show you guys because it's just really cool to me. This is dated year 2000. It's just a really unique kind of style. I don't feel like I see a lot of this. It does have the flames on the sleeves as well. And then the big Harley logo on the back. And it says Harley Davidson of New York City, which to me has to add value. Surely um, the New York City Harley stuff is really desirable. This one is dated year 2000, so it's just about vintage, but obviously it's not from the 90s, which would probably increase the value and it isn't single stitch but still a really, really cool shirt. Okay, so basically that's it for all of the ones that I wanted to show you guys. Now, in terms of my expected return on investment in all of this stuff, it's hard to tell at this stage because I haven't priced out every individual item, but I do definitely expect to be able to at least double my money on this haul. And with some of the individual items being really valuable, hopefully I'll be able to make even more than that back fingers crossed, but I'm just gonna have to see when I actually price the items out individually. And I know that all of this stuff will take some time to sell. So that pretty much concludes the haul. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you have any questions about finding and making deals like this or about this particular Harley Davidson clothing haul, then make sure to drop them down in the comments because I respond to every single comment down there. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.